Hi everybody, welcome to a new all of the above budget movie review and this time we're going back into the vaults, the Marvel vaults, for a few new classics. And this time we're going to meet the Sentinel of Liberty, or like we know him, Steve Rogers, America, Captain America. And we got in the 70s, they, this one. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty. And a red brown plays Steve Rogers, a kind of artist person who gets uh, injected with a thing that makes him stronger. And it has nothing to do mostly with the comics, it's a totally different story. We see Captain America on a motorbike with, um, yeah, a dumb shield. And it looks like it was a made-for-TV pilot. Um, didn't really like it. I have it just in my um, collection for, for collecting purposes. Um, but it's something I just rewatched just to get the feel back again. Most of the movies I've rewatched so many times, but some of some movies I have to rewatch. And this one was one of them. There came a follow up. It was even worse. Captain America Death Too Soon. It has Christopher Lee in it. That makes it okay. But it's yeah, it's boring. I didn't really like it. Um I want to forget about it. Uh, but the first Captain America movie I ever seen was in the 90s. And it was this Captain America. The original Avenger. And it's a good movie. It's not a super good movie. But it's a good movie if you like the original comic book movies. Um, or the Captain America shtick. Um... So, yeah, it, this kind of sums it up. It's Captain America in the 70s when, when there was a lot of Marvel TV shows being made. Um, so, yeah, it's and the 90s movie. And then it took a, a long time before the MCU came with his, his their version of Captain America. So... What are your Captain America uh, memories? If you want to talk about it, leave a comment. If you want to like, you can like. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And I just want to say thank you for watching and see you next time.